In this lecture, we're going to talk a little bit about Jekyll and do um, some configuration of a number of files within Jekyll's and our <coughs> website so that um, we can, um, first of all, style the, the content um, and, and build in some of the stuff that we did with Bootstrap, but also so that we can actually link to um, some of the files that will be contained within our Jekyll site, in particular um, different types of pages and and posts and whatnot, so that they're um, they're all uh, nicely formatted within our site. So Jekyll is a an application that runs on top of um, of Ruby on Rails on on top of Ruby, uh, and uh, one of the things that it supports is the uh, the use of different templates. Um, and layouts and whatnot, so that uh, um, so that you define um, certain features of your pages in one place, and then those end up getting replaced um, by using different variables uh, that are available in the um, in the site. So one of the things that's really valuable, if you go to jekyllrb.com, there's a documents uh, link here. And there's a couple of things that I want to point out, one of them being the variables uh, page. And it shows a number of different var variables that are available to us. Um, so site variables, page variables, and so forth. Um, so for instance, under site, you'll see here um, there's a, a site.pages. This is a list of all the pages, um, you know, if you've created individual pages for the site that that are available. Um, and um, under page, there's the page title. Uh, you can get the URL for a page and whatnot. So those are all um, obviously going to be very valuable for us as we start to style our, our page, uh, our website. So if you completed the, I believe it's the um, assignment two, then you have a uh, website that has um, Bootstrap integrated into it, uh, but because of some changes that we made, our page is basically uh, just um, just Bootstrap, uh, and just the things that we got from Layout It. And so we no longer actually have a link, any links to actual pages that are part of our, our site. And so we need to fix that. I um, want to get rid of some of the, <clears throat> some of the styling that's here um, and get, um, uh, get the site back to um, having links to different blog posts and, and whatnot. So uh, a few things that we have to do to make that happen. Um, that uh, we'll do in a few parts uh, rather, than, rather than all in this one video. So I'm going to start actually by uh, doing the um, or adding content to this page. Um, we'll get rid of some of this, uh, this other text um, so that we have at least links to the posts for the site. So um, in Jekyll there in the uh, uh, in navigation window you'll see that we have um, a directory here for posts and uh, this is just basically a list of, of blog posts that somebody would uh, would create and I wanted to point out a few things here we've got these uh, uh, this header section that has tells us what the layout of the page is going to be tells us what the title is date and categories and whatnot uh, and then below that is where all the markdown text goes, and this is where um, someone would write their uh, their blog post. And there's a match here between the layout and files that are under that would go under the layouts directory. If uh, you have just default a default file, then pretty much every file, whether whether it's a post or pages. Um, would use the the default um, D 
default layout. And in our case, the default layout is the layout it template that we had downloaded and configured. Uh, and so one of the things that I want to do is I want to make sure that on the page, whatever page it is, that there's going to be some content that has you know this styling and, and we'll fix all this, but I want to start very basically here. So I'm going to make a modification to my default.html file and I'm going to add a variable into the HTML that will display our um, our text for the um, for the page and uh, want to just point out a few things here within the um, within this default that HTML file if I, if I may uh, a lot of this is bootstrap uh, and you'll notice that there's some code in here for the navigation bar um, there's uh, you know more <clears throat> links here for the navigation bar and some drop down menus and, uh, and a number of other things and I want to get rid of some of this because I don't think we need all of it and these just correspond to you know these drop downs like there's a drop down here a drop down here there's this text window for submitting if I'm doing a search for instance I'm going to get rid of pretty much all of the stuff from this drop down on so we'll just have a couple of links and uh, on this page and so if I go into um, the uh, the HTML um, I want to find all of those uh, links so here's brand um, you've got two links I think those correspond to these two links here and then after that everything is there's the, there's our drop down uh, here's uh, here's the submit um, with the text field uh, we have uh, looks like another um, the other drop down and so I'm going to get rid of all, of all of that basically um, and I'm just going to delete it from the file and so let's see I'm going to start pretty much from here and, uh, and remove a number of things oops do that properly. Here. So get rid of that. And so I also want to get rid of that form that was on the page and I'm going to get rid of also that that other drop down so this should pretty much be up to there. Okay so I think that's correct. Refresh this page, and so now I just have those two links. And I'm going to have one of these links eventually be a link to our blogs, and then there'll be other other links here to pages that we're going to create. But for now, I'm going to leave it as that. Uh, well, I don't think we need the breadcrumbs part of the, um, the page, although you know I do kind of like the use of breadcrumbs, but we don't really need it here for this. And then finally, um, I'm just going to add one more thing. I'm going to add the use of a variable called content. So in these layout files, the, the content from the posts that we create or the page would essentially be put wherever we, we place the, the content variable. And so I'm going to add that to this so that um, pretty much the body of the page is going to have that, um, that content. Now I'm going to remove all of that Latin text and I'm going to put my content variable here. And do I need a page header? Do I want a page header? Um, yeah, I'm going to put... Um, no, I'm going to remove it. So now that I've done this, I can refresh the page. And so here are my posts. And these posts correspond to the posts that um, are found here. So anytime I create a new page, or sorry, a new post, let me create a post. And I'm going to call this, I'm going to give it a date. 
and I'll call it hello world. But actually, it's marked down on HTML. <clears throat> uh, there. And uh, let me just copy this header piece here. And just drop that right into the post. I'm going to change this to. Oops, hello world. I'm going to make that 19th. Let's say I want this released at 8 a.m. Actually, the convention here for these files is that you give it a date title. Today actually is the 19th. And you can use dot markdown or you can use dot md for those. Uh, right, and now I need to put some content here. Um, Laurel. Uh, and actually I'll make that something like this. Right. Is Jerry. All right, that's enough. Okay, so um, again, this is our this is our base page. Uh, if I refresh this, uh, here's my hello world post that I just created. And when I click on that, this is also using again, it's still using that default template. And so here's the content. Um, it's as far as the HTML is concerned here. Uh, it's using the same template across all of those pages uh, and it's putting the content there. In the next video, I'm going to split out all the things that are up here in the header into a header template file, into an include file, um, change up some stuff with the title, and I'm going to add a footer, uh, and then do some other styling. Uh, especially, uh, I want to replace these links with names for pages that are part of the site. Anyway, I want to end that here. Um, in the next video, we'll see all those other things.